Hello, I'm Kriti Rana Gill, and today I'm doing something which has been requested since a really long time, and it's a makeup tutorial. So I am not much into makeup. Like obviously, I do it every day, but I don't experiment with it. And I just recently learned how to do makeup, like right after my wedding. Before that, I only had a compact of Mac and I had Kajal. That's all that I used. And now I'm pretty much experienced with everyday makeup for my shoot. So I thought of doing this finally. And I don't think anyone. if you have seen me without makeup before and i don't even think i've seen myself without kajal ever <laughs> because i've been like using kajal since my 10th class probably i was like a goth kid with a lot of kajal and black eyes and all of that so today i'm going to do a makeup tutorial i'm going to show all of the products that i've been using for an everyday makeup look which i do for my shoots and let's get started I'm going to start by moisturizing my face and neck. You can use any moisturizer that suits your face. Then I'm going to take the Benefits Professional Primer and this primer actually helps in covering all your open pores and it helps in gliding your foundation really well. After this I'm going to take my foundation Clinique's Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer which builds up really well and use it all over my face and neck. I normally just use my hands for blending my foundation because I'm pretty lazy and I never end up cleaning my brushes or the blender so this is more hygienic for me. Then we use the concealer but I don't have any under eye bags or dark circles. I just use it to highlight my face and especially the tip of my nose so that I can contour it really well later on. Once you have a concealer on all you need to do is just dab it across your face. Now it's time to bake. I'm using Clinique's baking powder and just put it across wherever you've used your concealer and you're good to go. Next up is contouring. I bought this from Sephora and I've been using this since the past 1 year. For me contouring my nose is really important because I don't have a sharp pointed nose so this is what I make sure I do really well so that my face has a really nice cut and a very sharp nose After this I use my blush and this one is from Sigma Before I use my powder highlighter I make sure to use this sticky dome from the body shop so that my powder highlighter sticks to it really well. I love highlighting and a lot of you guys keep asking me about what highlighter do I use. So this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I absolutely love it. I make sure to highlight all the high points of my face with this one and it shows really well. I mostly use the one which is the lightest. I mostly use plum kajal but since that's over I'm using another one. Also I never use a liner. I always use a kajal only to put the liner as well. I have very tiny and less lashes so a mascara is really important for me. Make sure that you know how to put a mascara because you just don't go in the length of your lashes. You also have to go in the opposite side and also move from side to side to put it on really well. Okay, moving on to my favorite part. This is doing my brows. I don't have very bushy brows, so I need to make them up. And I really like how my face completely transforms right after doing my brows. I'm going to show you the difference. Plus, this Benefit brow pencil is amazing. You guys must try it out. Do you see the difference? It's crazy.
Okay, so now I'm done with everything. I'm gonna use this liquid matte lipstick called Heartbreaker from Huda Beauty and I am almost done. I hope you guys enjoy the video and this is the first time I'm doing something like this. I don't know if whatever I do is absolutely correct or not but this is what works for me and this is what I do and if you want to know anything else then you can comment down below and I'll get back to you. Also I'm not going to leave this video without doing a giveaway. So I have L'Oreal Scans collection with me the lipsticks and these are absolutely amazing and very different. Top of the lipstick looks like a sponge. The lipstick is very light and it gives ombre lip so it's something very different in you. I have five amazing shades in this and one of you guys can win these lipsticks. So check out the description box and follow the rules. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you like the look which I created and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Akriti Rana Gil and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!